Hello and welcome to my code coffee. This is chapter 7 in the series of blockchain. In this chapter I will explain the details of extended keys. By the end of this chapter you should be able to understand the concept of child key derivation and the pros and cons of different types of child key derivation and how child key derivations help in securing the wallets. You will also understand what is normal child key and what is hardened child key. So let us begin. In previous chapter, we learned that HD wallets derive tree-like structure of keys from a single seat. In fact, since now mnemonic code words have become popular, it is more logical to say that this tree-like structure of keys are produced from the mnemonic code words. Irrespective, we will refer this initial entropy as seed. Here in this diagram, you are seeing tree-like structure of keys. In fact, if you see it closely, each of this box is showing key along with something called chain code. So each of this is a pair of key and chain code. In simple words, chain code is a random number to introduce randomness in child key creation process. This pair of key and chain code is called extended key. Apart from key and chain code, extended key will have some other information also like index number, parent fingerprint, depth, version, etc. And we will learn these details in upcoming chapters. But for now, for simplicity, you can think extended key as a combination of key and chain code. In this diagram, all these key chain pairs that you are seeing are extended keys. Why they are called extended keys? Because they are extended or derived from parent keys. So this extended key is derived from this extended key. Similarly, these extended keys are derived from this extended key and so on. In fact, you can also call it extensible key because you extend these keys to get child keys. Now you already know that a key can be private or public. Similarly, an extended key can also be a public extended key or private extended key. And as you can guess, public extended key is a pair of public key and chain code. Similarly, private extended key is a pair of private key and chain code. Now the first extended key is derived from the seed and this is called master key. And then the subsequent keys are derived from their parent keys. The process of deriving child key from parent key is called child key derivation or CKD. Note that master key is also an extended key. There is no difference between master key and other extended keys except that this is the first key and it is derived from seed. Child key derivation can be of different types depending on certain factors. Before I start explaining different type of child key derivations, let me tell you that apart from key and chain code, there is one more thing which plays very important role in deriving multiple children from single parent and that is index number which is a 32 bit value. You are seeing in this diagram that from one parent key, multiple children keys are getting created. This is possible with the help of index number. Now let us jump straight to the types of child key derivations. Since extended key can be public or private, so we can have public parent key and private parent key. Similarly, we can have public child key and private child key. So if you put this permutation and combination together, you can think of four types of derivation. Private parent key to private child key public parent key to public child key, private parent key to public child key, public parent key to private child key. Wait, this fourth combination is not possible. Why? Because you know that you can never derive private key from public key. So we have three types of child key derivation possible. So let us see the flow of these derivations and we will talk about these categories while explaining that flow. So here is your extended private parent key and as you can see it has a private key which I am denoting by small k with par written to indicate that this is private parent key and it has a chain code denoted by c. Again I have written par here just to indicate that this is parent chain code and also you have an index number. This is a 32 bit value starting from 0. So this combination is your extended private parent key. Now let me show you the steps to create an extended private child key from this extended private parent key. So the flow is that from this private parent key you can create public parent key using elliptical curve cryptography that we have discussed earlier. I am denoting public key with capital K and here again I have written PAR to indicate that this is public parent key. Then this public parent key parent chain code and index number is used as the input of a hashing algorithm called HMAC SHA512 algorithm. 
it is one way hash function which means that you can derive child from parent but you cannot derive parent from child the result of this hashing algorithm is a 512 bit value the right hand side 256 bit portion of this 512 bit value is your child chain code the left 256 bit portion is then added to the private parent key and this will give you private child key which is again 256 bit value this i which you are seeing here is to suggest that for every value of i you will get a new set of child key and chain code this index value in this flow can be anything between 0 and 2 to the power 31 but wait only few minutes back i said that index number is a 32 bit value which means it should have a range between 0 to 2 to the power 32 minus 1 so now why i am saying 0 to 2 to the power 31 this is because this particular flow of generating child keys that i am showing here is to generate normal child key and to generate normal child key the index number which is used is always between 0 to 2 to the power 31 the remaining range which is between 2 to the power 31 to 2 to the power 32 minus 1 is used for generating hardened child key and there is a different flow for hardened child key derivation now what is hardened key how it is different from normal key and where it is used all this i will explain but let us first come back to this flow where you have generated normal private child key so this is the flow to generate private child key from private parent key next flow that i want to talk about is private parent key to public child key derivation because this flow is closely related to the flow that we just discussed so the only thing that you will do additional here is that you will apply elliptic curve cryptography on this private child key to generate public child key so in this way you complete private parent key to public child key derivation interestingly there is one more way of doing this derivation in this method the left hand side 256 bit portion is added to public parent key instead of private parent key and the resulting value is your public child key so in this method you don't generate private child key and then generate public child key instead you generate public child key directly using hash and parent public key so as you can see you can generate public child key by either using the earlier flow or this flow now here there is something very interesting the interesting part is that both methods will give same public child key if the value of index is same now why i am saying it is very interesting because this has a very important practical application in hd wallets we all know that private keys are very important and has to be protected if a hacker steals your private key he can immediately spend your fund let us say you have an hd wallet which has two parts first part remains offline most of the time and second part is deployed in some web server which is relatively insecure because it is online connected to internet and connected to bitcoin network all the time one example of this type of wallet is trezor it's a hardware device which remains offline for most of the time and then it has an application deployed in web server and you connect this device to the application occasionally but most of the time your device remains offline if you see the second flow closely you realize that to generate public child key you just need public parent key as long as you have public parent key you can generate public child keys without knowing anything about private parent key so this is basically public parent key to public child key derivation this is a great feature because it means you can segregate public keys and private keys you can keep extended public parent key in the web server application of, of your wallet which is relatively insecure and keep extended private parent key in offline device you can use extended public parent key in web server application of your wallet to derive all public child keys independently without any knowledge of private parent key and since your web server application has no private key so there is no question of hacking or stealing the private key on the other hand you will keep extended private key in that part of your wallet application which remains offline for most of the time like your treasure physical device since it is offline so no one can steal your private key but there is one to one mapping between private child key which is in offline device and public child key which is in web server and this is because of the fact that these two flows generate the same value of public key so you can use the application deployed in web server to monitor the fund and receive the fund and whenever you need to spend the fund you connect your physical device which has the private key this type of key management in hd wallets provide immense security because it provides a clean segregation between private keys and public keys 
ओके सो सो फार वी हैव कवर्ड प्राइवेट पेरेंट की टू प्राइवेट चाइल्ड की डरवेशन प्राइवेट पेरेंट की टू पब्लिक चाइल्ड की डरवेशन एंड पब्लिक पेरेंट की टू पब्लिक चाइल्ड की डरवेशन सो वी बेसिकली कवर्ड ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ चाइल्ड की डरवेशन बट हियर इज अ ट्विस्ट इन दिस स्टोरी वॉच दिस फ्लो क्लोजली एंड देर इज समथिंग विच यू शुड वरी अबाउट वी स्टोर द एक्सटेंडेड पब्लिक पेरेंट की इन द वेब सर्वर एंड एज यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट द एप्लीकेशन विच इज कनेक्टेड ऑनलाइन इज ऑब्वियसली प्रोन टू हैकिंग सो इफ अ हैकर गेट्स एक्सेस टू एक्सटेंडेड पब्लिक पेरेंट की स्टिल ही कान डू एनी थिंग एज लॉन्ग एज ही डज नॉट नो प्राइवेट की एंड एज आई सेड सिंस प्राइवेट कीज आर नॉट स्टोर्ड इन वेब सर्वर सो देर इज नो क्वेश्चन ऑफ हैकिंग और स्टीलिंग इट फ्रॉम देयर बट इफ सम हाउ somehow even a single child private key is exposed then it's a big problem now you will ask how it can be exposed when it is nowhere in the web server and this is a good question because it is rare and difficult for child private key to get exposed when it is stored separate from from public keys but here i'm talking about rare scenario where maybe because of some bug in your wallet it exposed its child private key when it was connected to the network now if you reveal your private key which is not part of extended key hierarchy then only that private key is exposed and it will not lead to exposure of other private keys but if you expose an extended private child key then it's a bigger problem because if hacker knows your extended public parent key and one of the private child key derived from it he can derive private parent key and since parent chain code is same for extended public parent key and extended private parent key he will get entire extended private parent key and if he has your extended private parent key then you are in trouble and your wallet will be empty very soon because he has the key to generate all the children private keys and he will have a good time let us take a step back and understand why i am saying that if a hacker knows extended public parent key and one of the child private key derived from it he can derive private parent key well it's easy to understand if someone has extended public parent key he can generate hash he knows that this hash was added to private parent key to get the private child key so now that he knows the value of private child key and hash he can easily subtract private child key from hash to get private parent key now as i said that this type of hacking is very difficult because of the fact that you don't store private key on web server and that is the reason normal key derivation is very popular and considered extremely secure but to avoid this type of rare situation that i just discussed some precautionary measures are taken and that's where hardened child keys come into play to generate hardened child keys you use index in the range 2 to the power 31 to 2 to the power 32 minus 1 but more importantly you use private parent key instead of public parent key as the input to hmac sha512 hash algorithm so if you compare normal child key derivation with hardened child key derivation there are two differences first there is difference in the index number range and second there is difference in what you are using as input to hashing algorithm so this is your hardened private child key and if you generate a public key from this child key using elliptic curve cryptography you will get hardened public child key so if you see the flow to generate hardened child keys you realize that even if someone gets the private key there is no way to derive private parent key from it but there is a trade off here in this case you are creating a barrier between private child key and private parent key which makes it more secure in the sense that hacking all the private keys with the help of private parent key will be impossible simply because you cannot derive parent key from child key but the downside is that you can never create a hardened public child key without knowing private parent key this makes hardened key derivation much less useful compared to non hardened key derivation because in hardened key derivation you cannot achieve full segregation of public and private keys In fact if you make sure that you are never exporting normal private child key from your offline wallet to web server wallet it is as secure as hardened child key in my mind the usefulness of normal key derivation outweighs few extra security provided by hardened key derivation so where do we use this hardened key derivation it is used to create separation between accounts or group of keys so that even if parent private key of one group of keys is known it does not impact the other group So in this chapter we learned what is extended key uh, what do we mean by tree like key structure of hd wallets what are the different types of child key derivations and what is hardened key and how it is different from normal key
If you have watched all the previous chapters in this series then congratulations because now you are ready to understand the most important concept of blockchain technology and that is transaction. See you in the next video with my gold coffee. If you now want to move to the next chapter you can click on this card. And yes, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon because so many interesting videos are on the way. For easy navigation to all chapters, visit mycodecoffee.com. Thank you so much for watching.